Alrighty, we are here at Valencia College for dose number two vaccine. Getting the second shot of the uh, Pfizer vaccine. Compared to three weeks ago when I got the first vaccine, I would say I don't, I don't feel the hesitancy towards getting it. But as you know, some news came out with Johnson and Johnson that one being postponed. More issues with AstraZeneca. I know those are different types of vaccines than Pfizer and Moderna, but. Either way, eh, a little bit more hesitancy, but whatever. I've already started the process, so let's finish it. So let's go inside, get vaccine number two. And uh, Susanna's a, she's getting hers a little bit later, just like last time over at the convention center. I'm doing it at a, at a local uh, community college here in Central Florida, Valencia Community College. She's doing hers at the Orange County Convention Center. But either way, I'm up first, so uh, not exactly sure how this video is going to go yet. It's kind of a cloudy, rainy day. I got a feeling this is going to take up most of the day. Just by the time I get mine done, head back to the house, take Suzanne to get hers done. Who knows? Maybe we'll end up at a theme park at some point. So stay tuned, enjoy the video, and let's just see how this all goes. I didn't even do my normal like uh, intro, so let's start with that. What's going on, guys? <laughs> I kind of forgot to do the intro. I don't know that I'm nervous, but you know it is what it is so what's going on guys it's steve Susanna, baby maria at home hope you guys are having a great day um i do want to apologize for a little delay in getting some videos out over the last few days i've just been slammed busy with work uh between the face masks and the shirts i just haven't been able to get my videos out we've recorded some stuff you know we went over to uh, the polynesian i want to show you guys that we've done uh, a couple of different videos here i can't remember what i've got now so i've got plenty of content to upload i just got to get it done that's probably the hardest part the easiest part is uh going and filming it the hardest part is taking it home and editing it and uploading it and so forth but either way uh hopefully this week there will be a lot more videos so let's head into valencia community college and watch me get a needle poke and hopefully i don't turn green or orange or purple or pink or grow a ponytail yeah. right. i think you gave me my last shot i feel like you did the first one maybe were you here three weeks ago or am i wrong oh yeah i've been here long. i think you gave me my shot i really do yeah i just had a stiff arm but uh no no nothing just yeah. stiff arm. hopefully it's the same for this one, right? fingers crossed <laughs> my mother 78 she had pfizer zero side effects so but she's a lot older too so <laughs> That's a little bit yep I'm gonna tell you said that you know what you're <laughs> my sister-in-law she had it done last week she had a headache for about three days kind of a, just a achy headache right. all good yeah whenever you're ready you can just follow the, the white line appreciate it man thanks a lot Alrighty, well i just got the vaccine done completed it was like basically same as last time wait 15 minutes after the shot so far feel fine uh the guy that gave me the shot did give me like the rundown he said some people after the second shot don't feel so hot for a day or two so fingers crossed we don't have any issues like that but you just never know i think i was reading like about 20 30 percent of people maybe have some effects like that but uh let's see how it goes throughout the day i'm gonna try and eat that's what i did last time i ate a lot after i got my shots i'm gonna go stuff my face probably get like a chick-fil-a on the way out of here and eat in the car and uh head back to the house and get ready for Susanna here in a little bit so all right all right honey we're here at the convention center it's your turn my turn for shot number two yeah I already got my shot two a couple hours ago. Mm -hmm. I did turn orange and green for about 30 <laughs> minutes, but and I grew a tail, but the tail fell off, so mm -hmm. I think we're gonna be all right. Thank it's God your that just fell off. Yeah, but it's your <laughs> turn to get your second shot. Yeah. And uh, we'll see where we're gonna end up after that. Yep. Do you wanna go to Disney Springs? Do you wanna go to Universal? We, have a, we do have Magic Kingdom Reservation, which Finally, I forgot about. Yeah. Finally, this all the time. I was surprised that yesterday I could mm -hmm. get to the Magic Kingdom. And it's actually a weird day today. A little bit cloudy, often on showers. So it's actually not a bad day to go to the park because yeah. there's no sun. Yep. Nice, and nice, it's not solid very cloud. Hot too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Temper actually cooled off at 73 yeah. degrees yeah. with a cloud cover. Yeah. That's the big thing down here. The temperature doesn't matter so much. It's all about cloud cover and humidity. Mm -hmm. So if you have a nice cloud cover, well, this is a tight little turn. If you, if they snake you through this convention center parking lot to get over so, here. We're already in the convention center, by the way. We're just driving through the parking lot to get the shot. But anyway, uh, yeah, the cloud cover makes such a difference. I hope the second shot will not be. Uh, we will not feel 
more uh, worse than yeah. the first one. Side effect wise? Yeah. I, well, I mean, it seems like some people have yeah, side effects. Yeah, I'm a little bit uh, scared because they said the second half it's a little, uh, it gives some more side effect than the first one. Yeah. For me, the first one was just Let's a sore see. arm, but I didn't have any other side effects. Yeah. Just a normal sore arm. So. I guess mine will be the same because the first time we have we have the same side effects. Exactly. We haven't been very bad, just the soreness. Mm -hmm. It was pretty sore, the arms too. It takes about one day, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, honey, you ready? I'm ready. Nervous? No, no. No, I don't think so. I'm a big girl. Yeah. You gonna do the right arm? Yeah, I'm going to. Uh huh. Yep. I'm waiting. Yep. Here's what it looks like in the convention center. See, it all the. It looks busy. Lots no. Busy here. Remember? I think, well, they're just having issues with, I think, getting enough people to take vaccines. Yeah. A lot of hesitancy after the Johnson and Johnson fiasco. Yeah. Over in Europe, the AstraZeneca fiasco. Yeah, yeah. I I was thinking earlier when I was getting mine that it gives me a little hesitancy too. Yeah. <laughs> but we've already started the process. We might as well finish at this so point. so far from the Pfizer. Yeah, we'll just be waiting for ten years from now. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> see what? It, <laughs> see how we are in ten years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't hurt me, please. <laughs> Yeah, last time I didn't feel it anymore. Almost nothing. Just relax your mind. Okay. There you go. Ready? Ready. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Alrighty, well we've made it over to Magic Kingdom. I knew this day was gonna involve making it to a steeper. Why is she crying? We're Magic Kingdom, you're just the happiest place, most magical place. Why are you crying, honey? Alrighty, yeah, we're Magic Kingdom. There's something specific we've come here to look for, which is the Stitch Crashes, which movie? Lion King? Yeah. Okay, third edition. We're gonna try to get ourselves a Stitch Crashes Lion King. It should be at the gift shop. Hi, how are you, buddy? Thank you. It should be at the gift shop in Tomorrowland. Merchant, what's it called? Mer Venus, Mer Mercury Traders, Mars Traders. I always forget the name of the gift shop. We were just there like two days ago. Whatever, we're going to the gift shop that's over in uh, uh, Tomorrowland. So come on, let's go see if we can find this stitch. And I have no idea what else we're doing here at Magic Kingdom. That may be all. I really don't know. Okay. This is a nice day. Maybe we'll have a couple of attractions. It is gorgeous weather. It's phenomenal. Beautiful. This year, so far, this is our third year living in Orlando. This has been the absolute like, best weather so far since we've been here in Orlando. Hands down. It's just been like a really long, extended spring, cool winter. It's just been fantastic. So yeah, already we're getting ready to head on over. Let's see what's going on at Magic Kingdom. What's wrong, baby? You want to take a nap? You look like you want to take a nap. <laughs> You're a little fussy baby today. Why are you fussy? No, 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 don't be fussy. Well, I came up to the second deck of the ferry boat because it's empty, empty, empty. I haven't been up here in so long because there's no way to get up here with the stroller. So I came up here just for a second just to get a view of the hotels and just take a look around up top for a minute without, well, well, without being blocked because downstairs you do get blocked a little bit. So if you want a good view, you'll get a good view from the, from the bottom, but you also get a good view from up top too. There it is, there's the castle. Very, very cool. And look, the other ferry boat is just kind of sitting out there floating, waiting for us to go by. Princesses, but now here comes the main street market. 
and I think they might play my baby's favorite song. They usually play the Mickey Mouse club song. Let's see if they do Mickey Mouse! something I haven't heard in a long time. Look at that. People movers running, but there's nobody on it. It's empty. Huh. Wouldn't that be a nice surprise if they let some people get on it today? That's interesting though that it's actually running. I got a feeling that at any moment the people mover's gonna open. That's my opinion. I wish they open today. Yeah, well I think they've been testing and practicing with it so much. I think they're ready to open it. Yeah. By the way, I remember the name of the gift shop. Star Traders. Yes. Yeah, Why well, can't remember Star Traders? I every time kind of forget and I don't know. But... Yeah. It's interesting. What if today that they do start letting yeah. people get back on the people mover? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it must be ready because because be I've seen other people's videos and pictures of someone like cast members up there walking with the cars, pushing them around, but like it's just up there running freely. Look. There it goes. Will you be a test subject and go on the be one of the first people to go on the people mover? No, you don't want to be the test subject to go on the people mover. I wasn't with baby. I will, but if I'm with baby, but it will stuck in that dark uh, place, and she will be scared. You know? uh -huh. <laughs> All righty, let's go inside the Star Traders and let's see if they've got Stitch crashes the Lion King. All righty, let's see. I don't see it. It's gone. I see the magic van, but I don't see the stitch. <sighs> no, they don't have it. They have the magic band. I'll let you guys see the magic band. But this should be where the stitch is, and I don't see it. <sighs> it's not that late, right? About 2 o'clock? Yeah, that's gone. Huh. I don't see the pins either. I just see the magic bands. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. The stitches are gone. Sorry? Are there any more stitches or are they finished? Yeah. What time did this sell out today? Uh, we start at 8 p.m. Oh, huh? Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Well, it looks like we missed out on the stitch crashes line. That's disappointing. I really, really wanted that yeah. one. Um, you yeah. have to go to the website see. No, they're done on the website. This was just for the look. This is just for the location. Because the website they had already done the sale. It's just they hadn't shipped them yet. There are none on the website. So yeah. That's it. They're done. We didn't get one. And I don't, I don't think there'd be one at World of Disney. Highly, highly doubt it. So, I don't know if it's even worth going over there and looking. All right, let's head on out. All righty, well, Susanna has made the executive decision that we're going to vacate the Magic Kingdom. And we're going to, where you want to go? World of Disney, right? World of Disney. It, the odds of us finding Stitch, I think, at World of Disney is like one in a million at this point. It's late. It's about 5.30 already. But uh, you never know. We might get lucky. So, And there's never, there's never anything wrong with going to World of Disney. And this is going to sound crazy, but I even feel more confident going to World of Disney after being back. Yeah. Right? That's a busy, 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 busy store that we really haven't been to much since really the parks were open. I've only been a handful of times. But either way, we're going to head over to World of Disney. If for some reason they don't have it there, we're keeping our fingers crossed that they do, we're going to try, what, Animal Kingdom? Yeah, let's try it. If it's not too late, if we still have some energy, yeah, we'll give Animal Kingdom a shot, and we'll see if we can get lucky and find Stitch over there at the Animal Kingdom at one of the gift shops over there. So, let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. Oh, are you tired, baby? Okay, come on, let's go. Let's go, maybe you'll take a nap in the car as we go to Disney Springs. Alrighty, and just like that, we are over at Disney Springs. We're at the west side, or at least I think they still call it the west side. I really don't know what they call it anymore. But we're down here by the M&M store and the NBA experience. And we're passing Splitsville here in a second. Speaking of the M&M store, we still haven't been in there. I don't know. 
I'm interested, but not that interested. <laughs> is that the most exciting thing? Is it exciting for you to maybe come in from another country? It's, like, no, it's like a, no, a it's real American exciting, branded thing. Like one country you gotta wait in line. Though. Take a look. Like, there's a little bit of a line to get inside of the M&M &M store. We'll go in there one day. I'm not, you know, eh, whatever. Um, so anyway, we're on our way to the world of Disney. Let's see if it's got stitched there. I highly doubt it. Maybe we'll check, uh, what is it, uh, Disney style? Yeah. And then we'll check the co-op too. Yep. Do you want to see the little pop-up Disney Cruise Line store? <laughs> the little pop-up cruise line you thing? You asking me? Yeah. Of course I want to yeah, see. Yeah, so let's, <laughs> let's go to the co-op. So let's hit Disney style first real quick. Yep. World of Disney co-op. Yep. Maybe we'll find a stitch. I highly doubt it. Who knows? <laughs> okay. And here was the site for Beatrix, but today it was announced by Disney that they're not going to build this. The developer, Beatrix, they pulled out. They're not going to build this restaurant. This used to be the old Gloria Estefan like restaurant. You never ate there, did you? Did you eat there? No, I didn't, but I know where. It was here when they yeah. built like the whole west side or whatever. But they're not gonna. Uh, they're not gonna do. So I don't know what's gonna be here now. I don't like this. Smell. The cigar shop. I, I nothing against people who smoke cigars, but I always thought it was like a really weird match yeah. for this area to walk by that. Yeah. I understand the soccer jersey for the international tours and stuff, but the cigar shop one, mm -hmm. I don't know. Check out this crowd though. I, honey, is it safe to say that the tourists are back? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah look at that. I wow. Think most of them, they had the uh, vaccine for sure. Yeah. Maybe well, I think that, that I think that does create a little bit of confidence. Yeah, sure. Like. The vaccine situation. I just think people are just traveling. Look at this. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, check out the line just to go inside the Star Wars store. Wow. Well, this is good. I mean, I prefer to shop in the stores and they're not, you know, shoulder to shoulder packed. But that also tells you too that it's pretty busy. They look have a line, and the Marvel store had a line too, just like that. Let's see if there's a line to go inside a Disney style. One of my favorite all-time Disney merchandise locations. Let's take a peek in here real quick. There's no line to go inside a Disney style. Spring picks. Like the tie-dyes, like really, really light colored tie-dyes. Just let you guys, this is not gonna be like a full like walkthrough, just kind of a little casual checkout. See if there's anything that jumps out and is new. I'm amazed at how long they've had this. These lounge flies, these have been here for so long, you know? Okay, let's just walk through home. Oh, they have the goat shirt. I'll show you guys this. If you're looking for this tea, uh, here it is. It's the goat from Big Thunder Mountain. They have a t-shirt of it. Interesting. That's like a popular shirt. <laughs> a very simple shirt. There's the ones that they have right now on the wall. Uh-huh. Ah, yeah, check that out. That's a nice one. What's it sound like? One, what? One cannot die who... Means one be. cannot deny who one is meant to be. Yeah. One cannot deny who one is meant to be. Okay. Maybe I need a comment. There. <laughs> the way I was reading it, it was sounding funny to me. Anything else new? What do we got? Here are the ears. A lot of polka dot ears right now. More polka dot ears. Okay, I love these little displays. They always change. It looks real. Look, yeah. if I put it just like that, look, we're in the Magic yeah. Kingdom. You can't even tell. You would think we're in the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Okay. No. Oh, yeah. Now, now, look, compare this to what it looks like now with the new blue turrets with the gold ribboning going around them. I love the way they did the castle. I said that before, but I think it just came out so, so cool. Let you guys just see what's in here one time. Like I said, we're not doing like a full coverage of the store, just kind of taking a peek. I think so, yeah. This is meant to look like a long sleeve. Yeah. But why not just take, it's very simple. And I'm gonna tell you what they need to do. You just take the material from the women's dress shop dresses and make men's button down shirts with these. Yeah. Why can't you have that? That way you can have the matching dress and shirt uh -huh. for Dapper Days or whatever. Yeah. Oh, this is Disney Hats. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, Where is this from? Look at the tag. Yeah, okay, whatever. It was it made in China. I was thinking maybe it was like it was not exclusive to this park or to Disney World or something. Look, so they brought in a lot of women's shorts. Look at those with the bright color castles. They're neat. All the denim stuff is here too. 
these are new. Check it out. They've got the monorail shirt. I, I heard about this and I haven't seen it yet though. How much is this? $59.99 for the monorail shirt and the Sebastian shirt. I'm assuming it's the same. So these were all the same. I didn't even notice that. And then this one is the Dalmatian. So they have the, the monorail one. I guess they're all new, but this is the one that was interesting. That is really, really cool. I like that. All right. What did Susanna find? Yeah, it's a soft style too. It's like distress print. They're $29.99. They've got Daisy too. The green one, Daisy. It's cool. I like that. The Donald one. These have been around for so long too. I'm surprised they still have these. These are winter clothes. Should be at the warehouse. Ooh, what is this? Ah, I haven't seen this. Yeah, no, I haven't. Yeah, that's from up. That's nice though. Careful with it, please. Not $54.99. I like the ears too. Are the ears new? Honey, you're good with the ears. Yeah, are the ears new? They are the new version of the grape soda. Yeah. They're a new one, right? I was gonna say they look different. And I like the little cup too. Add water for a 3D effect. All of these are cool. We'll have to get it. Susanna likes anything now with Marie on it. Marie for Marie. Yeah, I woke up like this. It's cute. Actually, I like the little sanitizers. Look at this. Those are cool too. And this is Uh huh. The Mrs. Potts and Chip. Yep. Okay. What was on this side? Might as well see a couple of Alex and Annie's. Okay. I'll just kind of go down. You guys can see them. Well, we just finished up and said a Disney style. Like I said, they've always got some super cool stuff in there. Yeah, I like the cookie jar. <laughs> the cookie jar is very good. What was yeah. it? So you wanted something last time too. What was the thing you wanted last time? From here? No, yesterday we were shopping somewhere and you really wanted to get something. What was it though? Oh, I forget. Already. It was something that you wanted. Yeah. But either way, add the cookie jar to the list now too because we're going to have to yeah. get the cookie jar too. Yeah. Up you cookie told jar. me get it, I didn't get it. Yeah, but what was yesterday? I'm so confused I now. I don't remember. Like, give me time. She wanted something, I promise. So, the list is growing. Maybe Susanna's list is growing. You mentioned that I, I can keep in mind what I want and what I don't want. There's definitely some new stuff that's been popping up. Yeah. All right, let's make our way towards World of Disney. Let's take a quick peek inside of Chapel Hats while we're here. I have so many hats from here. Susanna, you've gotten hats from Chapel before too, right? Mm -hmm. yes. One did catch my eye coming through here. Ooh, I like this one with the little pink flamingo. Yeah. <laughs> All these are great. Great little Florida summer hats. A little dog hat, cat hat. These are wild. Oh yeah. Uh huh. This was like something that Axl Rose would have worn back in one of the day, like back in the day, right, honey? It's like a like a Guns N' Roses looking hat or something. <laughs> Here's one of the ones that cut my eye. These, yeah. Oh, they're not too bad. $36.99. I kind of like that black one there in the front. They're not bad. $36.99. No, not today. I have a bunch of hats already that I don't get a chance to wear. Very, very cool. I'm going to say it right now. This is the busiest I've seen Disney Springs since Disney reopened. Do you agree or disagree? Yeah, it's very busy. This is absolutely I the busiest. Before pandemic even, it wasn't that No, I don't yet. remember it being like this. Maybe during the holidays or something, but this is, this is busy. I guess, you know, half the people can't get theme park reservations this week. Theme park reservations are so, so tight. So if you can't get into a theme park, capacity is super, super reduced. The only place to come to is Disney Springs. Yeah, the only place to go then is to Disney Springs. Here comes the music. And so Disney Springs is just super, super crowded. Look at this. Wow. Oh my God, look at this. Wow. I've never seen that before. 20 minute line to get inside the world of Disney. Okay, so I know I'm not crazy. It really is that busy. I've never seen this before. 
Yeah. Look at this, there's a line. There's actually a line to go inside of the world of Disney. Wow. Look at this. Never, never in all the time have I seen a line like this. This is crazy. When they first reopened the world of Disney, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but it was first um, a virtual queue way back in July. And that virtual queue lasted for a little while at the world of Disney, but I've never seen a line like this to go inside the world of Disney. This is absolutely crazy. Wow. I know that there's, I think this week, spring break for New England, but what is the deal? Look at this. Is this, is this crazy? It's crazy. I don't mean to like over exaggerate this, but I'm just surprised how many people are here at Disney Springs. Wow. I think like it's time to raise capacity at the parks just to help give these people somewhere to go, right? Yeah. Like yeah. Magic Kingdom was nowhere nearly busy today. We were just yeah. over there, right? Like it was, why were there no theme park reservations? There should be theme park reservations there mm -hmm. to help absorb the crowds out of here, yeah. right? Yeah. Like the park, I don't understand why park capacity is still so low, mm -hmm. but Disney Springs is so crazy. We're slowly getting there. There's the entrance. Look at how far back that is. I'm just blown away by this. Here we go, heading inside of World of Disney. We didn't wait that long, maybe 10 minutes. Oh, look here, the drink of babies. Oh, yeah, yeah. They have the dumbbells. Yeah. And they get special prizes. Oh, I think they bought it was for special uh, prizes. <laughs> was it? Two onesies for $15. Okay. Yeah, a little bib and socks. Ooh, look at the little backpack, little tie-dye backpack. I like these colors. Very cool. And again, we're not doing a full-blown video of World of Disney. We're just kind of walking through here. So casual walkthrough. Let's see what they've got. This is new, this little Minnie Mouse dress right here, right? Yeah. Yeah. The previous one she has. Uh-huh. It's very like similar. It's like it's not Yeah. <laughs> That's cute, right? I like that. Twenty-four ninety-nine for that. It's not bad. Hi, baby. Yep. In Magic Kingdom. Look, they have the little matching pocketbooks, little three-piece set, the hats. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Okay. Here's the mannequins. You can see what's on the mannequins right here. Pixar merchandise. No, no, this is Huey, Dewey, Louie. I haven't seen these. Look, they have little action figures. Four key. See what's back here on this wall. Some plushes. More Huey, Dewey, Louie shirts. There's some Stitch. Okay. There's some new youth backpacks. They have a Mickey one and a Minnie one. Look at the little princess one. Those are cute. A lot of new stuff in here. It's been a long time since I've been inside a World of Disney. I actually like all the little stroller uh, adapters, like little bags and stuff you can hang. Ooh, look over here, they got the castles. $89.99 for the castles, the train sets, the monorail, more train sets. Little Donald Duck quacky quack quacks. Look at all the park pals. They got some new park pals in there, right? More toys on this side. What are these? Are these little fans? Yeah, look, those are new. I haven't seen those little fans. Okay. Tons and tons and tons of puzzles. I like the... The castle, Main Street with the castle fireworks. There's Anna and Elsa. There's a Pinocchio one. Fantasia, Mickey, or all the Mickeys, really. Lots of puzzles. Beauty and the Beast. What's on this side? Oh, they have the thousand piece Aladdin one. That one's cool. Haunted Mansion. Oh, I know that's popular. There's an up puzzle. Haunted Mansion one. I know that people want that one. What is this one? Spark a special moment? Okay. Coco. Ah. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Yeah. Wow, isn't that pretty? I like it. It's a very nice bag, right? $49.99. It's not bad. Not bad at all. 
Can you put your phone, wallet, all that good stuff in this one? Yeah, it's a $39.99 for that's great. Of course, it's not lounge fly. I'm not sure who the brand is. I think it's just like a generic type of Disney bag. Different ears. Still have a lot of the 40 make a 40 make a wish or whatever merchandise. The make a wish merchandise. Still have a ton of that. That's what's on the mannequins, all the Minnie Mouse bow merchandise. Look at this bag, honey, with all little like stones on it, real sparkly. Yeah. That's a nice bag. Very sparkly. And look, they have, if you look up there on the mannequin, it's probably down here too. That black one is very, very similar to, the, or it's the same bag that you just saw over there. See it? It's just got the bow on it. Yep. There are all the little matching bow shoes. What's behind me? Pixar lounge, um, balloon lounge fly. I still have a lot of these. What if I could find the tiki room bag? I want the tiki one so bad. No luck on the tiki bag. They have this one though. Okay, lots of masks, hairband pieces. Here are all the wallets. Lots of wallets. They have the little Marie hair things. Oh yeah, here are the shorts. They had some of these just now at Disney style. We saw they have more here. It looks like. Oh, here's that bag. Here it is. Okay. Check out the wallets. Very cool. And all the little racer bags. No, these are tank tops. These aren't racer bags. Tank tops. Now let's see what's on this mannequin here. The leggings, Minnie Mouse leggings. This is a clear bag. Makes it easy. To, I guess it's sometimes to go to security with those. Very, very cool. Here's some tie-dye merchandise. I like that. I like the little long sleeve shirt. It's cool. Interesting pair of shoes. Some tells you that's more for the youngins. <laughs> Another tie-dye Mickey shirt. Oh, here are the shoes. Native. <laughs> I'm not familiar with this. Okay. Keep on just kind of walking through, see what else is in here. What are these? The Crocs. Well, here are those rubber shoes. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Have you worn those rubber shoes? Are they comfortable? I don't know what they're really for, but either way. All right, here's the Star Wars stuff. Let's take a look at the Star Wars merchandise. Check out the Raglan three-quarter sleeve, it looks like. Right now, it's a long sleeve, isn't it? Never tell me the odds, though. Very cool, Millennium Falcon shirt. How much is that, anyway? That one's $39.99. This one's $44.99. Look at the little tank top there. That one's cool, $34.99. Anything that jumps out at me that I kind of like? I don't know. Stormtrooper hat. Some youth shirts and tank tops. Tons of Baby Yoda merchandise. Always gonna have a lot of Baby Yoda. What do we, yes, baby. Yeah, show me what you found. I'm following you. Okay. Take me to it. We still have a lot of the Baby Yoda Green Spirit jerseys. Oh, a little dress for the puppies at home. <laughs> How much is that? $39.99? Oh, very cool. Oh, here it is on the doll, the mannequin. Look. Oh, yeah. That's it on the mannequin. Yeah. And another side for This is the Yeah, it looks like it. Stay positive. Very cute. I like it. Honey, you found something interesting. Very cool. I'll just peek over here. Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda. There's the little. Look, they have the youth side Darth Vader spear jersey and the R2 jersey. I got this one in an adult size, though. And more Star Wars jerseys. None of these are new, but they have more Star Wars jerseys. I still don't... Oh, uh, the Crocs, Baby Yoda. I saw those at Mouse Gear. Well, I've seen them at Mouse Gear, the Baby Yoda Crocs. They're cool. They are interesting. $54.99 for the Baby Yoda Crocs. I don't know. I've never worn Crocs. Let me know in the comments. Have you worn, do you wear Crocs? Are they comfortable? Do you like them? What else is hidden over here? A couple of lightsabers. And then these jerseys down here. What is this one? Cloud City. Okay, I thought that might be that one. The Chewbacca hat. You want to go through here? You want to go this way? Look at the Groot lounge fly. See Groot's lounge fly bag? And then there's Groot. What are we looking for down here? The 
Josh is here. Let's I'm following you then. Let's go. Follow Susanna. Take me to the plushes. Look at all the toys. Toys, toys, toys. Lots of Pixar. Pixar lounge fly. Pixar. Look at the button up shirt. Can we see this real quick? Look at this Toy Story button up shirt. That one is really cool. I like that one. What a colorful shirt. It's got everybody on it. Very, very cool. Look at this one. Duke Kaboom. Three quarter sleeve raglan tee. Okay. Traditional Woody's and Jesse's. Wow, it is crazy in here. Let's see. I lost my wife. She's somewhere down there. Let's go find Susanna. Monsters University Spirit Jersey. Look at the racks. Alien guy, little toy. I don't think these are the stitches you're looking for. Susanna's, poor Susanna. She wants a Lion King stitch so bad. <laughs> because we're not collecting. I know. It's so sad. It is sad. You can paint him orange or yellow and put Lion King on him. Make your, be creative. Make your own Lion King stitch. Your stitch can crash Lion King too. Check out the Buzz Lightyear costume. I like the little Buzz Lightyear costume, right? These little toys. Let's go. I'll follow you out of here. It's crazy inside of World of Disney today. This is a new one. Uh, what was wrong with the old one? The old one was great too. There was at the character warehouse forever. They couldn't get rid of that thing, remember? You couldn't give them away. Oh, yeah, yeah. now it's in character warehouse. Is it? Do you remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he had the makeup on. That's right. Look at this. Look at this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. His spirit animal. Here's your favorite character, right? Oh, yeah. Had to do a battery changer. I apologize. Check out the little Kevin hoodie. Yeah. If they made that an adult size, call me crazy. Yeah. Baby, don't call me too crazy. But I would wear that. I would go to Animal Kingdom and I would wear that. It's very good. Cool. I'd wear it in January. Oh, I know, it's like fleece. And it's very soft. But look how colorful that is. Yeah. That is something that Steve would wear inside of Animal Kingdom during Christmas or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know, I was looking at that shirt. I love it. It's so colorful. What's on this back wall? The ears, Luxable ears. Check out that. Indiana Jones hat. Snakes, why did it have to be snakes? That is a very cool hat. And look at this one too. A retro Pleasure Island hat. Why did they ever tear this down? We love Pleasure Island. Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't think I'm ever gonna find that Darth Vader hat though. I don't see it, people mover hat, but I don't see the Darth Vader. This one's cool though. Check out the Pizza Planet hat. That's a very cool hat, I like that one. Mm. We got the Captain America down there. Yeah, no, I don't see Darth Vader. I've been looking for that Darth Vader hat since I saw it at Hollywood Studios. I gotta get back over there and just see if I can find it. Let's walk. Let's go this. No. Let's go this way. Check out these sanitizers. Make sanitizer fun again. Look at that with the teacups. Those are cool. Nemo's, Nemo's, Nemo's. Everybody's buying the Nemo's. Nemo or Numo? Fantasia ears. Is it Nemo or Numo? Very, very cool. Let you guys just kind of see what's in here as I walk my way out. Those are cool, the mermaid ones. Emerald green. Ah, these are all new. Honey, this is all new. The cookware, like the little, like, like the little reusable stuff. The shirt I have seen in Magic Kingdom. Yeah. New. All of them are, yeah, the yeah. little, look at this one, it's like a little cooler. Check that out. Little uh, cooler lunch sack, whatever you want to call it, water bottle. The shirt says home. It's a little, here we go, you can see them all right here in the display. Take a look at that. Very cool. Okay. Still got tons of Raya merchandise. I think a lot of people are waiting for that to become free on uh, Disney Plus. Well, we didn't get Stitch Crash's Lion King. They got the magic band here, but we asked the cast member. She actually said 
that they had those until about 5.30 of the morning. So we made a bad decision today. We should have come yep. here we instead of going to Magic them. Kingdom. We screwed up. Oh well, it's part of the game. What are you going to do? You're not going to win them all. You win yeah. some, you lose some. She did make a good point though. She said that, you know, keep an eye out for refunds because sometimes they do get returned. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how you're going to luck out with that. I just yeah, happened to be here when one day. comes in. But yeah. All right, well, let's head out of here. This store is crazy. Let's go. Let's yep. go. Straight out. <laughs> There's a new Orangeburg shirt. I haven't seen that one. Hello, Sunshine. I actually like the Donald shirt too. Take that one out. It's a little walk around. We got Goofy. Okay. This shirt makes me laugh so hard because I have the exact same shirt except it's sports gray that I got at Walmart like five years ago. And now it's at Disney. It's so funny. I guess Disney got that shirt back from Walmart. Beach towels. Look at all the beach towels. That's new for this year. Check this out. All new beach towels. Tumblers, cups, tumblers, cups, and towels, and towels, and towels. All the bubble wands. Angry Mickey. Okay. Very cool. I guess that's a wrap on World of Disney. Let's get out of here. All right. Well, we finish up inside of World of Disney. Let's go into the co-op real quick. I want to see this um, Disney Cruise Line temporary pop-up store. There we go. Cruise Line merchandise. I guess this is as close to a Disney Cruise Line as we're going to get right now. So it looks like they set it up over here. Ah, okay. Let's go in. Yeah. I know they had a lounge fly too, but that sold out so fast. Is it the, the little way set? Yeah. Let's go, let's walk in there real quick. Let's just see what's in here. Where the magic meets the sea. Very, very cool. Ooh. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Oh, look at all the spirit jerseys. Rainbow spirit jersey. Sorry, camera wasn't where it was supposed to be. A couple different jerseys. Look at this green one. I like that one. The hoodie, the mugs. How much they are? They are more. Uh, are, they usually are a few dollars more because it's cruise line. $69.99. Okay, well, maybe not. I guess it's here because. Is it $69.99? Okay. I like it though. I always love the DCL merchandise. And it's very popular. That's cool to wear out on the pool decks or at the beach. Let's just take a little walk through. Here are the picture frames, the throws, the jackets. Very cool. Okay. Some luggage tanks. Look at the hats. Little toothpick holders. Look, they're leaned like the smokestacks or the steam stacks from the ship. I like that. Keychains, more picture frame shape like the ship at the bottom. All these are cool. Phone cases, lots of phone cases. Look at that one. All of them are nice. Very like uh, rich. It looks like money, <laughs> right? The merchandise looks like money. Looks like Yacht Club. I like this hat actually. Look at this one, the trucker hat with the um, anchor on it. It's like felt. I like the hat too. Am I ever going to find my Darth Vader hat or did I make a mistake that day by not getting it? How did we forget today? We I looked. There. I looked. Just, oh, it, where? Hollywood, oh, I know Hollywood. Hollywood Studios is where we saw it the first time. Ooh. I like the display. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at this dress. Oh, for the little girls. Yeah, I was looking. Ah. Yeah. And look at the bag. Look at the bag. Look at the bag. Look at the bag. Right here, honey. Oh, you see him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there, too. But I like the tote bag, too. What a cool dress. Look at this bag. Sees every day. $39.99. Look at all this merchandise. All of it. All of it's fantastic. Cruise. <clears throat> Very soon, we're fully vaccinated. Just letting Disney know. Steve and Susanna are fully vaccinated. We, we would love to go on a cruise. Very, very nice. What a fun little pop-up store. A little pop-up boutique. Okay. Just let you guys see what's in here. What is this one? Oh! Yeah, I like that one. That's cool too. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah. Look at the look at the um the zipper. It's like a captain's cruise, the wheel or whatever, the captain's wheel. You see a price on it? It's okay. Yeah. How much was the one at the bottom? The pro this lavender was fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh, that's cool. Sparkly. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to read on that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stand out enough. Oh, I didn't notice they had the little tiny, tiny one. That'll fit her, right? She has to grow into it a little bit. Oh, you know what? Here, they're on the mannequins here. And look at these little luggage pieces. Check these out. Oh, wow. That looks like money, too. I like that. Looks like Nantucket or something. These are... $159.99 for those pieces there. Those are for like aircraft, like they'll fit in the cargo, uh, I mean overhead bins. Oh, yeah. It's very nice. I just said we are fully vaccinated. We're ready, Disney. Sign us up. Okay. Lots of very, very cool merchandise in here. I will say that. I'm just kind of following you, honey. Let's do a loop through here. Yeah, let's see. This is the kitchenware. Let's look at the kitchenware. The, the cookie jar? Oh, the up jar? The uh, cookie up jar? Good question. I don't see it yet. The aprons. They have all the aprons. Um, yeah, if we could find the Tiki Room Lounge Fly, it'd be great. They have the Tiki Room apron down. Okay. Now, this is the uh, underground merch. Oops, I'm sorry. I like this shirt. That's a cool one. This is on a mannequin, it looks like. Check out all the artwork. Very, very cool. They have the Haunted Mansion shirt still. That shirt's been here for like over a year. I haven't worn it once since I've had it. I did wear it once? Okay. Here's a Mandalorian piece of art. That's cool. Look at this little Haunted Mansion deal. Check that out. Very cool. Keep on moving through here. More artwork. Look at this one. Ooh, that's cool. The misfortune of Madam. I don't know what that is. Okay. Let's just kind of walk on through. Oh, check out these. These are really nice. Country Bear Jamboree, Swiss Family Treehouse, Speedway. Into the dress shop. Anything new? I don't know. Captain America's been here for a while. Minnie Mouse. Yeah. This one is um, Scarlett Johansson. Oh my God, I always forget. What's her name? Black Widow. <laughs> Sorry, Black Widow. Cheshire Cat, looks like, yeah, Alice in Wonderland, it looks like. What does it say on there? Curious and curiouser. <laughs> A courteouser? I don't know. Look at the little shiny rainbow ears. More ears. Woo! The shoes. Jewelry. Very nice. Mermaid. Here's some doonies. <clears throat> Something tells me this one didn't sell that well. I don't know. I just see this one everywhere. I don't think that one sold very well, right? The Skyliner Dooney. Like, were you interested in the Skyliner Dooney? This is nice. I like the colors of this. Because it looks nice, the color. This just has all the, it has all the attractions on it. No, this is all the attractions. Watch for fireworks, ride it again. What's that say? Grab a treat. 
Meet your favorite park pals. It's very nice with the belt too. It's all the, it's just all the different attractions. Yeah, it's yeah. an attraction theme yeah. park dress. Yeah. Um, and I believe this weekend coming is a, um, it's a um, dress up day at Magic Kingdom. What do you call it? Dapper day, sorry. <laughs> Today is, da or this weekend should be dapper day, like Saturday or something. That's all the pets, right? Or this is all the dogs? Yeah, the dogs. Mm hmm. And this one, 108. Usually it's 128. 108? Uh huh. I was looking at this one too. It's like Mickey's Runaway Railway dress. I like that one. I believe in magic, and so does my cat. <laughs> That's. Not, I like the Runaway Railway dress too. Yeah. You want to see if they have any lounge flies down here at the end? Let's go to Trend D. Let's see what's in Trend D. What is that? Okay. It's nice. More cat merchandise, cat, cat, cats. A lot of Minnie Mouse, Minnie Mouse, leggings, the denim jackets, hoodies. Anything new? I like this bag. That's fairly new. I've seen it, but it's fairly new. Pub grass is my favorite color. Okay. All the different leggings. Again, I see the balloon lounge fly. They don't have the tiki one though. That one is not here. Don't see it, right? Yeah. Best mom ever. Yeah. Do -do -do. This is nice. I haven't seen this anywhere. This is tie dye, right? Sweatpants, sweatshirt. I haven't seen this one. This little lavender jersey. Okay. That's cool. The bag. Here are the tank tops again. Some of the new shorts. Those are cool. What else is hidden over here? Space Mountain leggings and check out the jacket. The windbreaker. Is that a windbreaker? Yeah, Space Mountain windbreaker. That's not a Space Mountain pair of leggings. Though. That's like uh, the purple wall. Tomorrowland purple wall. I can't even read the print on this shirt. There's a print on it. Meet me at the purple wall. Okay. My happy place. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. Well, we just finished up checking out some merchandise over here at Disney Springs. What a long and crazy day. Yeah. Started out early this morning. I went and got my second vaccine, which I feel fine I, so far. Thank God, no side effects yet or anything. I. Yeah. Plenty of energy. I don't feel like I got a temperature. Arm's not even sore this time. My arm feels fine. Mine is a little Yours is a little sore? Little you feel sick though or anything? No. Good. I mean, so yeah, anyway, it was just a kind of weird Monday. Like we went and got our vaccines and then we went over to, where'd we go first? Magic Kingdom? Yeah. I'm so turned around. Yeah. Magic Kingdom, we looked for Stitch there, couldn't find it. Yeah. Uh, we made the mistake because we found that we probably could have gotten it here at Disney Springs. I'll be honest with you though, I don't know if I agree with him. I'm sure the cast member probably knew that they had one until 5.30, but that seems awful late to me. I think they sold out probably a lot earlier than that, right? Yeah. So anyway, we came over here to Disney Springs. We looked for the stitch. No luck. I feel bad, honey, because I know how bad you wanted that stitch. Yeah. Stitch crashes Lion, Lion King. Yeah. And everyone said it was a really, really cool one. Yeah. Um, this one was just kind of weird because it didn't get released on the first of the month like it was supposed to. There was some type of production uh, delay. So whatever, we didn't get this one. But oh well, we'll get the next one. And is the next one Pinocchio? I'm not sure, but the next one might be Pinocchio. I have to look online and see what the next one is. But I, I did see like a little uh, leak of the Pinocchio one. And the Pinocchio one, like his body, is like wood. It really looks like wood or whatever. So that should be super, super, super cool. So honey, we definitely got to get the Pinocchio one. I'll stay on top of... Pinocchio, I remember that it's something else. Well, I'm not sure. I thought it was Pinocchio, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, Pinocchio, maybe I'm next. It, could, it could be the series after that. So either way... I'll stay on top of it. Hopefully for the next one though, they won't have the uh, production delay that won't kind of throw everything off. But either way, I would have liked to have gone early this morning to try to find Stitch, but couldn't do it. Had to go get our vaccine. We had our appointments. Well, and for next time, uh, since 8 a.m. when they are opening, we have to be at the pump. And we couldn't do it today. Yeah. We, we had to get the vaccine, so there's no way to do it. Yeah. So just 
one of those things like it just the schedule didn't work but either way i enjoyed our little uh, time over here at disney springs and even if we didn't really do anything in magic kingdom i always enjoy going to the magic kingdom so all right guys well i guess that's a wrap on the video make sure to check out as always mousesecrets.com if you want some super cool magic shirts for your next disney vacation if you're planning to come down here i saw so many people down here today you yeah. can tell her traveling from out of state. A lot of matching shirts. A lot of matching shirts. That tells me there's a lot of people down here that are on vacation yeah. from out of state, yep. right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, the, the, I've never seen since Disney reopened Disney Springs anything like this. Not during the holidays yeah. or anything. Today was it something feels really else. really like Christmas. Exactly. It was super, super, super busy. But that's fine. It's great. Yeah. Um, and I, like I said, I read somewhere where it's spring break up in the Northeast, I believe, or up in New England. So, no, yeah, New England is why I read. Not Northeast, but New England. So, I, a lot of tourists down here. Hope you guys are having a great time if you happen to be watching. But, um, yeah, it was nice just to get into the world of Disney, too. Haven't been in there in so long. And I was blown away by how long the line was. That was interesting. All the line moves super fast. Don't worry if there's a line. And it's actually a good thing because it keeps the store from being super crowded. The store's comfortable, right? It wasn't yeah. like super crowded. It was yep. comfortable to shop. Yep. So I think it's just a combination. A lot of people have been vaccinated at this point. Mm -hmm. I think, like I said, I read 50% of adults in the U.S. have already been vaccinated. Yeah. So people, I think, just overall feel a lot more comfortable. People are traveling, which is good. Good for the economy. Great for Central Florida. Great for Orlando. And great for all Disney and all the employees that are here. So fantastic all the way around. So yeah, guys, anyway, make sure to check out MouseSecrets.com. Matching shirts. Tons and tons and tons of face masks on there. They're the stretchy ones. Very comfortable. Made by me and Susanna. As well as the shirts. And also, I still have some merchandise on the website, too. Um, you know, stuff that we've got that is directly from the park. So check that little list. Links will be in the description below, down below for everything. For the masks, for the shirts, for the merchandise, etc. Also come join our Facebook group. Um, I haven't been that active in the group the last couple of days because I just haven't had much to talk about. But uh, I definitely want you guys to come join the group. It's a lot of fun. It's always growing, 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 growing. Got a lot of Disney fans in there. So you guys will have a lot of fun. But um, anything you want to add to the video, honey, before I close this one out? No, I just said everything. Just I said it all? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Susanna said end the video. We're feeding baby girl. Then we're getting ready to hop in the car and uh, head home. That's it. Guys, have a great one. We'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.